Alright and welcome to my second tutorial on Visual Basics. I hope the sound is a little bit better than it was yesterday because I listened it back and it was pretty soft. So let's try it again. Alright, open up Word and press Alt plus F11. This time we're going to create uh, a machine that will convert euros to dollars and dollars to euros. So open up a new user form by clicking insert user form or click this tiny arrow and press on user form. Alright, the first thing to do is rename user form to FRM and then just call it machine or give it a random name, doesn't really matter, just that you can remember that it refers to this form right over here. Alright, we're going to create uh, a label which we used in the last video as well and it's basically, yeah, it, it's a label, it just uh, has some caption on it, so just change the caption to something like uh, the Euro Dollar Machine Converter 9000. Alright, that's a pretty cool name, so let's put it in the middle, like so. Make it a little bit bigger, because it's sort of the head text. Make it size 12 bold, and just drag it a bit like so that it will fit on the screen yes okay awesome alright and now we're going to make another label like so and we go oh wait that's a text box we're going to make another label and we're going to call it dollar so we're going to say lbl dollar and the caption will be dollars so like so so this will basically say uh, uh, in the text box that we have to fill in dollars in the text box below which we're also going to create right now so we're going to create a text box and it's called uh, txt dollar oh, txt dollars and we're going to uh, leave it like that alright now we're going to create a button right next to it and we're going to uh, call it cmd um, uh, euro because this button will calculate how much euros this amount of dollar is alright and we're gonna change the caption to uh, change to euros alright it isn't that hard just change the caption and you'll be fine alright now we need another label right over here which will be saying uh, we call it LBL euro and we'll have to caption euros simple as that alright oh, I'm pretty tidy oh and we can also change the caption of our form so let's call this one um, machine thingy alright so now we're gonna create another text box right over here below the euros and we're gonna call it text box txt euro and we're going to uh, leave it like that. Alright, now create another command box, command button, call it CMD dollar. Yes, because we call this one CMD euro and this one dollar. And we're gonna uh, put a caption something like change to dollars. Alright, uh, like so. Okay, it's pretty awesome. Now, let's start off with the change to euro. Um, button we're going to double click on it no double click on it and we'll open up the the code screen all right uh, now we're going to uh, tell the computer to um, and we're going to tell the computer to dim so create a basket called uh, dollar s and you might ask why the S that's because it's a reminder that it's a string so let's call it S string because we're also creating a double called dollar and we're gonna uh, um, create it as a, a double alright so now we have two new variables a string and a double a double is basically a number with decimals 
So we have an integer and a double. Integers are only whole numbers. It can't be divided by, uh, let's say you have uh, 1, it can't be divided by 2. Because then you have uh, a half and a half is a decimal number. Alright? Also, doubles can store a lot more numbers uh, than uh, integers. And you might ask, why don't you just use doubles? That's because if you make a really big uh, program or project and you only use doubles, it will be a lot bigger than you use integers. Alright? So let's create another string called Euro S and another double called Euro S double. Alright, I also want to teach you a new thing and that's how to place notes in your code. Just uh, type in one single quotation mark. I don't really know what it's called but let's call it the single quotation mark for now and uh, give some text. So let's call it uh, uh, declaring the values. Alright, so now we're uh, on a new block and we're going to uh, call it uh, reading the screen because basically what we're going to code now is reading what's inside this form right over there. Alright, and we're going to say dollar $s is txt dollar dot text all right so we're going to say uh, this what's typed in here will be converted uh, will be the string over here and now please pay attention because what I'm going to do is very confusing and pretty hard to understand especially if you're a beginner but try to stick with me it's very important that you pay attention right now we're going to say dollar which is a double, is value dollar $s. So we're uh, telling the computer to convert this string into a value, which is dollar. We're telling this string to become a number, and that number should be stored inside dollar, the double. Alright? Now stick with me. Now we're going to calculate like so. I'm going to say like um, euro is dollar times and I open up the con uh, the, uh, the currency here. One euro is um, hold on. Oh hold on it should be the other way around. So one dollar is uh, zero dot seven eight blah blah blah. Alright so let's copy that number go back to our code so one dollar is uh, 78 euro cents alright so this little star means it's uh, multiplied by so in this case it will be a number less than we typed in, dump, uh, in dollars but when we're creating the, the uh, dollar to euro it will be of the order euro to dollar it will be uh, multiplied uh, so it will be a, a bigger number than we enter alright we also have this slash which is basically uh, divided by I believe this is plus and this is min uh, minus but I'm not sure so let's just uh, stick with uh, multiply alright so when we uh, end this it will calculate how much the euro is a euro is a double, remember that. So now we're going to uh, write back to the screen, write to screen, and we're going to say euro s is string of euro. So we're telling the computer to convert this double number to a string and store it inside the string we created over here. Alright? This is very confusing in the beginning, but just stick with me. Alright, we're going to say text euro dot text is euro s so we're telling to uh, that this text right over here should be uh, the string we stored inside here so it should contain the result of this right over here 
all right and now with some little luck it should work all right so let's test out let's click play type in the number so fifty dollar is thirty nine dot forty three cents yes so it worked now my assignment to you is to uh, because we're running out of time I have only about five minutes left is to build this this uh, button yourself and I'll post the, the the result what it should be so the answer to, to this assignment I will post it in the description so you can practice this code by yourself uh, in fact I'll post all of the code but just uh, it's pretty cool to uh, try your skills and try to test if you really uh, understand all this what I just did also try to uh, use some things of the, the last um, tutorial by changing the label to well done again or uh, something else just play around it's uh, the best way to learn is by playing around with and uh, the program alright so I'll see you in my next tutorial thanks again and uh, yeah see ya